Love and light everybody and welcome back to another video. I wanted to just do something a little bit different today. That's why I'm off camera. Father God, angels, ancestors, divine and Holy Spirit, please go ahead and protect the collective, protect this reading, protect my channel, protect my intuition. Whatever anybody is sending my way, go ahead and send that back to them. If they are sending love and light, go ahead and bless that back to them. If they are sending the evil eye, go ahead and bless that back to them as well. I do not wish any harm on anyone. I pray for everyone. But in this day and age, I like to teach that what you give out is what you get back. Okay, guys, we're going to start by, I'm going to ask you guys to think of that significant other. Whoever it is to you, whether this be your high-level soulmate, your twin flame, your divine masculine, your divine feminine, whoever is on your mind and on your heart, go ahead and think of them now, okay? Is the frequency of opening up your heart chakra I will be introducing um, different frequencies into my readings to help you guys open up different chakras to be able to channel in different energies and manifest what your heart desires okay I'm going to go ahead and do a this is whoever you whoever's on your heart reading but then also a spirit baby message message as well okay I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. Thank you guys for all the new subscribers, all the new viewers, everybody who takes the time out to show me a like or a comment. It really does, it really does make me feel happy. All right. All right, let's dive into it. Spirit gods, angels, and ancestors, what can we pull for the collective? Who is on their heart? What can they what can they look forward to? What can they look forward to? Their spirit baby messages? What are their spirit babies coming in and saying to them? First card out is express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So maybe some of you guys have been holding back on your feelings. Maybe some of you guys have been hesitating should i go ahead and reach out to my loved one the one that i care so much about the one that's always on my mind the one that i dream about at night is what i'm hearing should i go ahead and reach out to them what do i tell them what will they say that's what i'm hearing i'm hearing somebody not knowing but it's saying your angel babies are saying go ahead and express your love wow what comes out next is heart-to-heart -heart conversations do you see how this woman is so eagerly looking towards this man to just ready to listen? I feel like your divine feminines are just ready and in this one as well. Guys, I have chills on my whole entire body. Look at these spirit babies here guiding you, telling you that it is okay. She's just staring deeply into his eyes, waiting to hear whatever he has to say. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other, guys. Wow, I am so cold right now. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, I'm just feeling these spirit babies saying, it is time. Wow, guys, at the bottom of the deck is wedding. How beautiful is that? So maybe some of you guys have been, wow, okay, wedding, I'm taking that. And then under that is reconciliation, guys, okay? And then under that, true love, okay? 
we're taking all of those. True love is going to be claimed for the overall energy for this whole entire reading. Wow. So somebody needs to have a heart to heart conversation. I feel both of you guys need to have a heart to heart conversation, but I honestly feel that the divine masculine has been holding back. I feel wedding this situation involves marriage maybe some of you guys want to get married maybe some of you guys were in a marriage take it how it resonates but looking on the positive your spirit babies are saying there is a reconciliation that needs to happen they are here guiding it from the heavens okay this is not just god guiding this this is your spirit babies someone from your past is returning to your life oh wow that is so beautiful and then true love. This is your true love, whether this be a divine masculine, divine feminine, a twin flame journey, or a soul, high level soulmate. This person is returning to your life and you guys will have heart to heart conversations. This is absolutely beautiful. Let's dive in a little bit more guys. Spirit babies coming through. I also hear daddy's coming home. Whatever that means to you guys, take it how it resonates. Once again, in all of these pictures, guys, look at her eyes staring at him, just waiting. Look at her here and the spirit baby in the back, just waiting, waiting to embrace his love waiting to embrace whatever he has to say. Just open. All right, what else do we have for this love, this true love? What do the spirit babies need to say to mommy and daddy, papa and mama? What do they have to say? What wants to come out? Love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. All right, guys, that's 43, which is a seven. So I'm hearing, even though you may not see things right now going on, even though you guys may not have your true love in your life right now, your spirit babies and God are saying, hang on. Love is patient, love is kind. Love does not boast, love does not envy. So you guys need to just keep that in mind, okay? The heart of the matter. There is going more there is more going on than meets the eye. That's right, because there's more going on. 22, which breaks down to a 4. And look at that spirit baby. That baby is sleeping and the angels above are are redirecting all of this, planning it all out, mapping out this beautiful life. There's more, and I'm also hearing spirit babies are communicating with their older siblings here. So if you guys have children um, that are in this life already, spirit babies are sending them messages as they sleep. But there's more than what, there's more going on than what meets the eye. So you might not see something happening right now in the physical but what does god always say we walk by faith not by sight right so we need to have that love indoors love withstands the test of time okay can i get one more one more wow okay we got a few more at the bottom of the deck is be supportive be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show you care. 45, which breaks down to a nine. So maybe some of you guys need to show support to your significant other, to your true love. Maybe you guys need to sh make the effort to show that you care. I'm hearing enduring this love and hanging on to this love and protecting this love is going to show that you support and you care for each other but i'm also hearing something in the physical like express your love go ahead and make that romantic gesture i feel that somebody needs to go out and make that romantic gesture so that you guys can start i'm hearing breaking the ice or rekindling reconciling reconciling with each other okay romance 
Lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. So I'm feeling that somebody needs to just show a little bit more romance, affection, okay? Relationship patterns. It takes strength to recognize the need for change, okay? Maybe somebody's been stuck in this same pattern. Maybe somebody's having a hard time with understanding what it is that they need to do. This is your spirit baby saying that you need to go ahead and have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. You need to express your love. You need to go ahead and make this romantic gesture. I'm feeling like the divine feminines are open arms in this reading. Spirit babies are open arms. God is open arms, okay? So go ahead and then the last one, be willing to express your love. Guys, I can't make it up. We have three, we have three um, confirmation that you need to go ahead and express your love, heart to heart conversations, and express your love again. Express love to receive love. So I'm feeling that whoever this message is resonating with, that's a number six, needs to go ahead and express their love. They need to go ahead and make that romantic gesture, okay? I'm feeling that if you feel like you want more love in your life, you need to go out and, and express your love to get it, okay? I'm going to go ahead and pull some from this new deck I created. This is just a separate deck for Spirit Baby messages. I wanted to create a, a solo deck just for Spirit Babies because I feel a lot of us, you know, I know a lot of Divine Feminines. We feel so connected to our Spirit Babies. And I feel like having, oh goodness, having a deck just for this, just to call on them when we feel called to, is going to bring so much more clarity and insight because you know spirit babies are coming straight from God. They have a higher overlook on situations and it's only with love and light. So I thought this would be the perfect way to call on the spirit. Wow. They told me just look at the cards. I'm a girl. Oh, I'm a boy. So maybe some of you guys want a girl. Maybe some of you guys want a boy. I'm also hearing twins. So this is beautiful. I'm hearing daddy wanted a boy and mommy wanted a girl. Well, guess what? Manifest what it is you want because I'm hearing you can have anything you want. Wow. So I'm hearing boy and girl. Car rides are my favorite. Puts me right to sleep. So I'm also hearing when your babies are here in the physical and they have fussy moments or, you know, irritability where they can't go to sleep, tell mommy and daddy to get in the car and take them for a ride. That's what I'm feeling. Can't wait to meet my older siblings. We, we will look up to them. Guys, that's exactly what I saw here. There are older siblings. So some of you guys that are resonating with this reading already have children. And they're confirming that, saying they can't wait to meet their older siblings. They already communicate with them through the astral world. So that is so beautiful, guys. There is more going on than what meets the eye. So we might not see everything that we want to see right now in the physical. But they're coming down and saying... There's more going on than what meets the eye, okay? I'm also hearing tying up loose ends. That is so beautiful. What else do the spirit babies want to come down and say? Okay. Wow. So first card I see out is winter baby. So I'm not only getting that maybe this baby's going to be born in the winter time, so some of you may be pregnant now. I'm also hearing some of you may conceive in the winter time. Mama, daddy, mommy, papa, we love you and are proud of you. Okay, so your spirit babies are coming in and saying they are so proud of all the work that you guys have already done in, in yourselves. And now they're just saying it's time for you guys to express your love with one another. These spirit babies are coming in so strongly saying, they're so proud of you and they see everything that you've done. Spring baby, okay? So maybe we have winter baby. Maybe some of you guys will be giving birth in the winter or conceiving in the winter. And then we have spring baby. So maybe some of you will be conceiving in the spring or giving birth in the spring. Take it how it resonates, okay? The color green is an indicator of us. So if you guys have been noticing the color green, that is also the heart chakra color, okay? So please, 
Also take notice that colors that you see frequently or colors that you want to just cling on to, that is also a way of spirit babies to come in and um, communicate with you and latch their energy onto you, okay? Daddy says he's ready to marry mommy, start a family, and be happy. Wow, that is confirmation with wedding, guys. So we have two confirmations that daddy is ready to settle down. Daddy is ready. Daddy cries at night because he misses mommy. Aww. We communicate with you through music. I also hear that mommy and daddy, papa and mama, take it how it resonates, also communicate with each other through music, um, telepathy, and in the dream state as well. But the spirit babies are coming in and saying they also communicate with you through music. So if any time you're wanting to um, connect with them, Put on some music and just kind of channel and listen to the words that hit your soul. We pray for you to know how loved you are. Okay, so so even when you're even when you guys are alone and isolated and you feel like you know, man, I've done a lot, but I'm I'm you know I'm still not where I want to be. They want to say, just know how loved you are, okay? You might not have the love that you want right now in your life from that significant other, but you have it around you from your spirit babies, okay? They're all around you, and they say that they love you and that they're proud of you. Mommy, a big reward is coming for all your hard work. Wow. And I'm also hearing that they might be your big reward. Maybe this wedding and this marriage is your big reward. I'm also hearing maybe a financial reward. Take it how it resonates for you, okay? But also I'm hearing stay prayed up. Tell God thank you for everything. Ooh, I have chills all over my body, guys. I'm sitting here. It's like 80 degrees outside and I am freezing. Spirit babies are coming in so strongly, guys. Um, but also just thank God for all the blessings that you have in your life and all the blessings that he's going to be sending you, okay? We always want to stay in the state of gratitude. We're going to pull a little bit more and then we're going to end this reading. This is a beautiful reading and I love the energy. It's so calming. It's so relaxing. I love the infant stage when you just, like when a woman, I have a child myself already, but when I gave birth and you know those first, I want to say like the first six to eight months, you're in this like, you're in such a transformative stage because, you know, especially if you're breastfeeding, but you're just so connected, you know, and you're so tapped into to source and God because you've just created this beautiful life. And I just, I miss that feeling so much, guys. Personally, I do. I miss that newborn stage where you're just so connected. I don't know how to explain it other than you're so wrapped in this energy and it's such a pure, loving, grateful energy. And that's why I wanted to do these readings more is because I just want to tap into that that spirit baby message, you know, that spirit baby energy, okay? And I wanted to be able to share it with you guys as well. All right. At the bottom of the deck is miracles. How beautiful is that? Miracles are on their way. Whether these miracles be a physical miracle, like a baby, or a blessing, or this marriage, or whether it's a spiritual miracle where you guys are just getting downloaded these messages and these connections with them, miracles are on their way, guys. So like I said, already, already be thanking God. Already stay prayed up, okay? Because miracles are on their way. Flow. Yes, just try to flow with life right now. Try to go easy and look at what color she's in. She's in that green again. So some of you guys need to pay attention to the colors around you. And then secrets. Your spirit babies hold the secret, okay? So when you need to have answered prayers or answered questions, try to tap into their energy, all right? We're going to go ahead and get one more angel guidance message. I want to 
to say thank you guys for all your support, all your love. You guys mean so much to me. This channel is growing. This intuitive, oh goodness, this intuitive family is growing so big. And I'm just so thankful for you guys, okay? God says that's enough, so I'm going to listen. The first one is let your past go. So maybe some of you guys are still holding on to things in your past. And I hear we can't come in if you're still hanging on. So you guys just need to fully release and surrender. The burden of catering, the burden of catering to your past around has made you weary, dear one. It's time to take, it's time to set this burden down. Keep only the lessons and love and leave everything else behind. You don't want it or need it and now it's gone. I've just did this guys. I've done a, I've just done a huge release of past energy, past hurt, past, and I just let it all go. I gave it all to God and I said, God, you know, I'm ready for this new, I'm ready for this new journey, this new venture, this new experience, this, you know, I'm just ready for it. And I just surrendered it all and I surrendered it with love. Okay, when you surrender things, you need to surrender them with love, okay? To allow more loving blessings to come into your life. And then relationship. Look at that unicorn. Your primary relationship is with yourself and God. And every other relationship flows from there. To attract, heal, or balance a relationship, then snuggle more closely with your loving creator. As you feel safe and loved within, so shall other relationships bloom and prosper. This is like confirmation that what I did is perfect. But whenever you, you know, whenever you want something like a spirit baby or a new relationship, you have to be 100% content with yourself first and staying close to God. Okay? You guys need to pray. You guys need to pray. If you're praying already, keep praying. And I'm going to keep praying as well. But your spirit babies are coming in and saying, we need you to pray to stay connected to God. And God will be able to bless you with all your heart's desires. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and close out. See you in the next Spirit Baby message. Bye.